This video will show you how to replace the control valve and hydraulic cylinder on your Champion log splitter. Always make sure the engine is cooled before performing any maintenance. Step 1. Use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the two hydraulic hoses from the control valve. Have a bucket ready to place the ends of the hoses into to capture any oil that drains out. Remove the pin and R-clip from the valve handle, then use a wrench to remove the hose connectors on the top and bottom of the control valve. Step 2. Use a 24mm or adjustable wrench to loosen the nuts on each side of the metal hydraulic cylinder hose. Firmly tweak the hose so it snaps out of place and set it aside. Then use a wrench to remove the right angle fitting from the control valve and unscrew the entire control valve from the hydraulic cylinder counterclockwise to remove the old control valve. If you only need to replace your control valve, you can move on to step 7. Step 3. Use the longest and strongest wrench available to loosen and remove the cylinder valve connector. Then use a wrench to remove the right angle fitting at the end of the hydraulic cylinder. Step 4. Use an 18 and 19 mm wrench to remove the bolt and nut connecting the cylinder to the wedge. Then remove the R-clip from the pin at the opposite end of the cylinder and remove the pin. Carefully lift the cylinder off the beam, and be aware that it is very heavy and will still be leaking oil. Step 5. Carefully lift the new cylinder onto the beam in the correct orientation and replace the pin and R-clip. Then replace the bolt and nut to connect the cylinder to the wedge, and tighten with an 18 and 19 mm wrench. Step 6. Use thread seal tape when reconnecting the hose fittings, and replace and tighten the right angle fitting at the end of the cylinder, making sure to point it back towards the control valve. Replace the cylinder valve connector with thread seal tape and tighten securely with a 17mm or adjustable wrench. Step 7. Use thread seal tape and thread the control valve onto the cylinder valve connector. Rotate clockwise until it is completely secure and in the correct orientation. Now reassemble your unit. Replace the right angle fitting with thread seal tape into the control valve and tighten securely. Firmly snap the metal hydraulic cylinder hose back into place between the two fittings and tighten the nuts around the fittings using a 24mm or adjustable wrench. Use thread seal tape and replace the two hydraulic hose fittings on the top and bottom of the control valve and tighten securely. Replace the two hydraulic hoses and tighten them securely and lastly, bring the control handle back into position and secure with the pin and clip. Your control valve and hydraulic cylinder replacement is complete. Top off your hydraulic oil and use the sight glass to make sure your oil is at the appropriate level. Run the log splitter and cycle the wedge to make sure everything is in working order. And for more help guides, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.